Hey everyone, Matt here. I have the latest information and updates on the $2,000 stimulus checks as demanded by President Trump. What already happened this morning in the House regarding these $2,000 stimulus checks? What can we expect to happen the rest of today? And where do we stand going forward with not only the stimulus checks, these $2,000 stimulus checks, but the stimulus bill? We'll discuss all of that in this video. So let's get right into it and talk about where we are and where we're going. Also, I'm recording this video on Thursday, December 24th. So let's get right into it. But if you're new here, welcome. My name is Matt. And if you're returning, welcome back. Thanks so much for being here. If you haven't done so, please make sure to hit that subscribe button just right down below, right below the video. So happy holidays to all of you. I hope you're having a very nice day. And of course, staying safe throughout this time that we're going through. So I'm always here for you. I'm your advocate on a daily basis. So oh, thank you once again for allowing me to be that guy and come into your house. So let's discuss this. This morning, this morning already, the House of Representatives held a pro forma session where they discussed the measure to increase stimulus checks from $600 per individual to $2,000 per individual and $4,000 for a couple. So they brought this, they had this pro forma session in the House right away this morning. Steny Hoyer, he brought the measure, he brought the proposal to the floor in the House. Unfortunately, Kevin McCarthy, the minority leader, blocked it. I kind of saw that coming based on what we've been hearing over the last uh, 12 hours or so. So anyway, Kevin McCarthy, the minority leader, he is the Republican minority leader in the House. He actually blocked the measure. However, after the attempt, after the attempt, Nancy Pelosi was out in a statement and she said that she would once again bring the measure of increasing stimulus checks from the $600 that's currently in the stimulus proposal or the stimulus bill, I should say. It's not a proposal anymore. It's a bill. It's a bill. So Nancy Pelosi in this statement said that she would be bringing the measure to the floor in the House once again on Monday once Congress is back in session after their holiday break. So she's going to be bringing this back to the floor in the House on Monday and presenting it to the entire, uh, the entire House of Representatives. So that's kind of nice that she'll be hitting this thing one more time, you know, bringing it out one more time, bringing it, letting it get some light, giving it some more attention. So at the same time, Democrats are urging President Trump to please sign the stimulus bill. So what they're, so remember, President Trump at this time has the stimulus bill. It's in his possession. Everybody's waiting for the signature. That's the last step that we need in order to turn this thing into law and for it to go into action. Until that happens, Nothing happens and it just sits there. Like I said yesterday, it sits there like a big stack of 5,500 pages of kindling. It's literally worthless paper at this point until we get a signature. Otherwise it does nothing. So we're waiting for that signature from President Trump. Uh, Democrats are urging President Trump, hey, you need to sign the thing. Just please sign the thing. And that they're suggesting we can come together on a standalone cash payment proposal or bill that can, we can pass individually, separately, aside from the stimulus bill. So essentially what they're saying is, let's not go back and amend the stimulus bill. Let's just push it through. Let's pass it in its current state. And then we can pass a separate cash payment bill, which basically amends or it doesn't necessarily amend because it would already be um, set into law at that point if President Trump were to sign it, but rather it would just be like a standalone bill basically saying, hey, let's increase the stimulus checks to $2,000 per individual and $4,000 for a couple. Also, by the way, some of you have been asking about dependents. From everything that I've been reading, it sounds like um, if this were to happen, the $2,000 stimulus checks and $4,000 stimulus checks for couples, it sounds like the dependent payment would remain at the $600 level. That's what it looks like from everything that I'm seeing. So. I hope that helps you out with that question. That's just what it's looking like. The 600 bucks for dependents, 2,000 for an individual, and $4,000 for a couple. So I hope that helps you out. At the same time, Mitch McConnell, he's still been silent. Haven't heard from him, nothing. So another thing too, kind of this is what I'm anticipating. We're probably not gonna hear from Mitch until probably, I would guess like the weekend at the absolute earliest. The reason I think that is because he's gonna use these two days, today and tomorrow, just gonna be like, 
this is a free pass for me. I get to hide in the wings. I get to just kind of hang out and do nothing, say nothing, no statements, nothing, simply because it's a holiday. And it kind of gives him a, a free pass, like an, an excuse to kind of just disappear and not come out to make any statements regarding this. That's just my anticipation. Um, based on he hasn't said anything yet, why, you know, I just feel like why would he come out on Christmas Day being like, yeah. No, no deal. You know what I mean? I just, I just feel like that's just my assumption anyway, kind of how I anticipate this thing playing out. I feel like we'd maybe hear from him at earliest over the weekend, but Congress will be back in session on Monday. So here's the deal. Where do we stand from here? Where do we stand right now? And what can we expect going forward? Well, we actually have multiple different scenarios that could possibly play out. So scenario number one, the stimulus bill, like I said, is in President Trump's possession. Well, right now, it's within that 10-day presidential action period. In other words, not much can happen with it other than we're waiting for President Trump. He has a different couple different options. He can sign it, which would bring it into law. That'd be great. It would help out a lot of people. So that's one option. He could sign it. He's kind of made it clear that he doesn't have any plans on signing it anytime soon. That's option one. Option two is he could do nothing for the next few days. Like I said, we're still within this 10 day period. So if he still has, what do he have? He has like three, he has like seven more days or so that he could just sit here and run the clock down, just continue to run the clock down and do nothing. That's option number two. Option number three is he could veto it. If he vetoes it, Congress could actually go together. They could actually override. They could vote and override his veto. So that's another option. Again, we don't expect him to do that simply because if he vetoes it, then Congress, we know, would likely just come in and override his veto. So again, I would anticipate, this is just me, but based on what we're seeing is he's not going to sign, he's not going to veto, but rather he's probably just going to let the clock continue to run down, which is... <laughs> Uh, like completely unfair to the American people. But um, so those are the options that we have as of now. Here's the other situation that we face. Here we are late in the week. We're on Thursday, December 24th on Saturday. Saturday's the last day for those people receiving unemployment benefits. If we don't get the stimulus bill passed, if we don't get a signature from President Trump, those benefits will expire as of Saturday. That's it. So Sunday, no more unemployment benefits for 12 plus million people. That's a ton of people. Not only that, if we don't get a signature or any type of executive orders to extend some of the other programs, well, in a matter of just a week, we have other things ending like... We have um, the eviction ban, the eviction moratorium. That technically still expires the end of the year in just about a week, a little over a week from now. That expires once again. So that would be really bad. However, remember in the stimulus bill, there is a one month extension uh, to the end of January for the eviction moratorium. So that would be great. That's why we need, once again, we need that signature from President Trump. However, he can issue an executive order to extend out the eviction moratorium. So I feel like worst case scenario, if he can do anything, possibly just an executive order to extend the eviction moratorium would be really greatly appreciated at this point for millions upon millions of people. Um, so that's another option. Um, another thing too, coming up, <laughs> there's so many deadlines coming up and this is not funny. I'm not laughing because it's funny. It is not. I'm laughing because it's like, this is a really bad situation that we're getting ourselves into right now. And that is the government on Monday. The government is only funded until through the end of the day on Monday, a few more days that the government is funded. And then if we do not get some type of additional stopgap bill to continue the government funded for uh, who knows how long, maybe they do a couple days, maybe they do a, a week or two, maybe they do a month until after the inauguration when the new administration is in place. You never know what they're thinking. Um, maybe, honestly, does Congress even think? It would seem at this point that Congress doesn't do a whole lot of thinking these days. But that's another thing that we have facing coming us very soon here is the potential government shutdown. If we do not get some type of short-term stopgap bill, a signature from the president, which would extend the government uh, funded through the end of September 2021, we're just facing a lot of things right now. Um, actually, as I was doing all this research, I've been, you know, listening to all these interviews and uh, press conferences and reading all kinds of stuff. I was doing this. Some people are saying 
and again, this is not my opinion. This is just kind of what I've been reading. Um, there's multiple people actually coming out saying this is just kind of President Trump, uh, President Trump's way of kind of giving the American people the finger before he leaves. And um, at this point, it's almost kind of seeming that way. Again, I'm not taking sides at at all, but it's like, dude, we need something. We need something here within the next couple of days because this is getting to be really serious, really fast. We are simply running out of time. Um, so that's kind of where we stand as of now. Of course, if anything else happens throughout the day today, I'll keep you posted. I mean, honestly, I don't really expect a whole lot to happen the rest of the day considering, you know, many people in Congress, everybody else there in the government, they just kind of figure like, hey, we get a free pass to just kind of sit on our hands and literally do nothing. So <laughs> kind of like what they always do pretty much, right? Sitting around doing nothing. But anyway, I hope this update helps you out a bunch. Again, happy holidays to all of you. Stay safe out there, but also enjoy your time. And um, just hopefully you can enjoy the rest of the day and tomorrow and just the holidays and just kind of try to be stress-free. This is outside of our control right now, unfortunately. If we had some control, you know what would be happening. You know, everybody would be having a very nice time right now. But unfortunately, there's not much we can do. So either way, I'll continue to be here for you as your advocate. Stay safe and uh, I'll catch you again later. Thanks everybody.